the most beautiful picards on this planet. I just thought I'd share them with you, and you tell me what you think of them. I really would like your feedback on it. Some of the uh, picards that the Pearl Vibe makes in the middle of the German Black Forest, southern Germany. Yeah, this is a... Uh, see it? This is a golden abalone. This is real abalone. This is New Zealand abalone. We call it Pawa abalone. And this is a, a gold abalone, gold white. And uh, it's got these rainbow colors. Can you see the uh, reflections? Yeah. You see, they're made as a set. At least this customer would like them as a set. He's got matching knobs and matching uh, pickup covers. Now, like I said, this is all a matter of taste, but as far as I'm concerned, I'd say there's nothing more beautiful. I've never seen anything more beautiful on a Strat. So, okay, you probably hear a lot of uh, trolls saying in the background, uh, that looks cheap or that looks uh, gaudy. Well, yeah. If you think that's the case, well, then you can put this back on your strat. It's the way it normally would look. All right? If you like that, then take a walk. If you want more, take a look. Shut up for your face and take a walk. Look at some more. Uh, New Zealand abalone, they call this Pawa abalone. This is actually the king of the abalones, and I've chosen this uh, specific shell because it's got a deep green appearance. I don't know if you can see it. The thing about these pickards is that they, they change with every angle. Yeah? Do you see these reflections changing? Let me just hope that you're getting a nice, clear shot. Okay. Let me just change the angle, and you'll see. As you change the angle, other colors and other shapes come to life. That's what's so fascinating about this. You, know, you stick this on a, on a black strat, and you'll be fascinated. I guarantee it. Just so you know, these things are not cheap. They go for about, well, this will go for about uh, $180 to $200. But it's uh, made out of three or four plies of, uh, well, it's a secret production method. It's cut out by hand, it's uh, put together by hand, and it's polished by, it's lacquered by hand, and then it's polished by hand. It's an awful lot of work that goes into this, something this small. It's actually almost like a piece of jewelry. This, in contrast, is a normal power well, with normal. <laughs> what do you call normal? It's just as beautiful. It's more of a bright green. But you see there's purples in there, there's golds in there. There's an array of colors that you uh, just fascinated by. I love working with this material because it fascinates, fascinates me every time I make one. Just, Just love it. It's life. Green is the color of life, I would say. Huh? Well, then you take an old one, or you make it look old. You take a cheap piece of plastic and you, you stain it with coffee and tea, rub it down a bit, put a little bit of grime on it, and then you have something that looks old. Well, actually, it's phony, right? And this is real. Real. Phony. Real. In contrast to that uh, power, we've got a piece here with, with larger cutouts. Calico abalone. The pieces are simply larger and uh, a different type of reflection, different type of color in contrast. I hope you can see that well. This is the calico blue-green abalone. Ah, oh. we make guitars that are completely covered by this material. It looks, it looks fantastic. The airbrush job done on it. My favorite, of course, you may differ. 
My favorite is the the white abalone. The white clear. Any strat where you'd put a white pickguard, this will just look fantastic because it's got this creamy champagne color. And now look at the reflections that you get. These deep, deep ripples. I just hope that we're getting a nice focus here. We're just going to move on in. You take a look at these fantastic ripples and the rainbow colors that come when you just change it around. It's this much more subtle, but I would say it's very, very classy. Very classy. Another uh, video where there's a set on a uh, white strat and on a black strat and on a, uh, yeah, on a surf strat. Customer has had this added to a surf strat, surf green. It looks fantastic, the combination because you get these green rainbow hues that come with every angle. Okay, I'll try it in some more later on. Here's a set. This is a yellow abalone. Yeah. Customer would like more of a yellow shine, gold shine. Yeah, this is what he's getting. I think it's a great uh, color combination. Yeah, see that? We take that white abalone and I devised a method where I can stain the shell. And I stain this shell dark green. And this will become subtle, fantastic, deep, deep ripples to change with every shade. Is that not fantastic? Yeah? Are we getting those shots in there? Yeah, I think we're getting them now. Nice reflection there. You all see that? Is that not cool? Yeah, that is cool. You're welcome to disagree or to agree, I'd really like your comments because, of course, when I say this beautiful pick arts, that's my subjective view. We stained this one a deep red rust. This one is already going on a strat. We're getting some color in there now. The reflection is stained, and you haven't got that extreme reflection that you have on a clear yeah okay this is the heart of power of the uh, power abalone shell the heart has a copper color to it can you see that coppery type color also very pretty you can check out part two where we uh, take these pick guards and we put them on a black strat body so i uh, hope to see you yeah? at uh, part see two that? thanks for watching